I know that was like totally killed the mood, right? Uh, <laughs> like killed the rhythm. <laughs> but I thought it was important to read this because it's like one of the most recent things I wrote. And um, I know it's very timely. Um, so I think I'm um, in with that. Um, yeah. Because it's kind of in three parts. Well, it's kind of, well, it depends on how you look at it. It's in two main parts, but one of the parts is um, what's called a contrapuntal. And for those that don't know, it's um, a poem that's basically, it's a poem on the left side of the page. Then there's another poem on the right side of the page. But when you read them across, it creates a whole new poem. So um, I'm going to read all three of those parts. And, um, and then the fourth part will be, um, yeah, and then the, the last part will be like something like slightly separate. Um, it's called Detroit is a Buyer's Market. Um, part one, Michigan State, the game. Last possession shot falls before the break, and there's more of us saying, if we could just pull this off, we might get the parade that we hope for. My sister shrieks at the shot, but we both agree it's too early. Celebration shots premature, the distinct rattle of gunfire, and that's when it becomes real. My neighbor who just lies down leaves us a bit unsure. Maybe our hope should be slow. Everyone ponders defeat. But there's a man who has clenched fists and punches the air like he already knows. Part two, Michigan State, the film. The camera pa pans out, the skyline, postcard enough, she don't look half bad, this mask of a horizon. We need to smile the smile that we deserve. And the next shot after that on self-delusion, for that to not be a boy pretending to mistake city drums despite his upbringing, the camera pivots and shoots in the yard across the street. Is rot all that remains. Like those that come for bodies, the worms and the roots and vermin find nothing to hold on to. Rain pounds the soil like she already knows. Part three, Michigan State, the game and the film. Last possession shot. The camera pans out, falls before the break, and there's the skyline. Postcard enough. More of us saying, she don't look half bad. If we could just pull this off, this mask of a horizon, we might get that parade. We need to smile the smile that we hope for, that we deserve. My sister shrieks at the shot, and the next shot after that. But we both agree on self-delusion. It's just too early for that to not be celebration shots, premature. A boy pretending to mistake the distinct rattle of gunfire, city drums, despite his upbringing, and that's when it becomes real. The camera pivots and shoots my neighbor who lies down in the yard across the street, leaves us a bit unsure, is rot all that remains. Maybe our hope should be slow, like those that come for bodies. Everyone left ponders defeat, but the worms and the roots and vermin find there's a man who has clenched fists and nothing to hold on to. Rain punches at the air like he pounds the soil, like she already knows. Part three, I don't know what my neighbor looks like alive, but I know how she looks on the side of her house while her husband paces and pounds the brick above her. I learned her shape for hours today, discover how her skin tone purples splashed in red blue police light. The gash in my block is wrapped in black and yellow bandages. I want to walk into the wound to see if there's anything that I can heal myself. But I don't really know these people. My presence in the neighborhood is limited to the space between my car and the door of my home. For a moment, I begin to gather words like some audible casserole I might be able to offer. But instead of crossing the street that I have never crossed in the 69 months I've lived here, I put in a call to a mortgage broker I met with the day earlier. I ask her in a voice that trembles like a cold child, what can I do? What can I do? She says, don't worry. Detroit is a buyer's market. So, um,